where we last left off in my journey, I was getting kicked off stage in Las Vegas. What occurred to me then and there was that I had horrible music organization skills. I jumped at the opportunity to play in Vegas, but I didn't really think about what it took to be a part of the big leagues. It wasn't until then that I realized that there's a mindset of preparation. And today I'm going to show you a few of those secrets. If you're new to our YouTube channel, make sure you smash the subscribe button. And if you stick around with us long enough, we'll give you a seven day free trial of Crate Hackers just for sticking around to the end of this video. Here's today's secret. So again, I realized that things had to change. If I was going to play in Vegas again, I had to go back home and start from scratch. There was no turning back. I took my entire library of music and dumped it into one folder just so I could get a grasp of what I had amassed over the years. I had to learn the hard way. I came to the realization that I had too many songs. I was relying on unreliable charts, incompatible software, low bitrate files. The quality of music that I had sounded atrocious and manually sorting my music daily, weekly, but apparently not often enough because it just wasn't organized. I did some quick math and I thought about this. For every night I stayed home and didn't DJ, but instead organized my music, it cost me money. And I thought $10,000 per year was what I had originally invested into this solution to the problem I was having. I lost 10 grand just to dig myself out of this mess. After 10 years, I discovered the hard way. Today, I'm gonna to make it easy for you. Stay with me, we're gonna show you the Crate Hacker way. Yes, for sure, this is yours. The Crate Hacker's software, it organizes your crates in minutes for any genre. Works with your Serato, your virtual DJ. I'm a record box user, works great with that. But first, I got secrets to share. I'm gonna share secret number one, today's secret, in fact, the ethical way to steal over $10,000 worth of live event and radio programming knowledge and build crates that crush any dance floor. Now, if you hang out with me during this course, I'll share with you some others, including secret number two, how to clone my proven crate building technique and organize your music in less than 10 minutes. And the big finale is secret number three, how to stay on top of all the new music coming out automatically while not sounding like a jukebox or any other DJ. I wanna zoom in on that, can I zoom in on that? We get that a lot in the comments in YouTube. Oh, Cray Hackers is creating a breed of DJs who all sound the same. If you follow me deeper, you'll understand that is far from the case. We're a bunch of hackers who love collaborating and talking shop about music. You ever go record shopping with your buddies? flipping through the vinyl, maybe back in the Sam Goody days, <laughs> Tower Records. You and your crew would go find the newest music. That's what we do. It opens you up from being a robotic sounding DJ, to be honest. Secret number one, you ready? The ethical way to steal $10,000 worth of live event and radio programming knowledge and build crates that crush any dance floor. It's a bold promise. But let's start with some inspiration from our man, Tony Robbins. Tony Robbins says, if you want to achieve success, all you need to do is find a way to model those who have succeeded. Let that sink in for a second. So rewind again in my story. I'm a club and radio DJ. I'm at the club at nights and I'm hosting radio shows during the day, right? And I would listen to some of the greats on the radio the most successful in the industry. Down in Los Angeles, they have the Baker Boys who host their hip hop master mix. I love that show. It would air on Saturday nights, usually late at night. They'd mix for like half an hour, then go to a commercial break. It was so good. Who grew up with MTV party to go? This is taking you way back. These were the cassettes or the CDs that came out that had the DJ mixes in them. They were the first of the kind. I guess Mixcloud preceded it. Long form mixes were not a thing until the 
Party to Go series came about. I was a big fan of the producer who hosted a weekend radio show, much like the Baker Boys, HK, with his Party to Go series on the weekends. And you know him? A man who needs no introduction. Fat Man Scoop. Fun fact, he hosts the number one weekend mix show across urban radio stations. I remember listening to their music and just blown away by the way they blended and mixed their music together. It was inspirational. And that was one of the very first gigs that I had in radio, believe it or not. So check this out. I dug up this old photo. That's a picture of me working at a FM radio station. So anytime those programs would air on the radio, there would always have to be somebody back in the booth hosting it, answering the request lines and making sure that everything timed out properly at the top of the hour. It taught me a lot about timing for sure. So here was the process, and I really want you to follow along here because this is the seed that was planted that really began the Cray Hacker's mindset. Okay, so on the screen here, this is what pre-internet days, these kind of radio shows would send to the local markets. In the mail, I would receive two, three, or four CDs in a big FedEx envelope, along with show notes. Now, these show notes, these show notes were something special, and I'm gonna focus on that in a second here, but realize that my job as the producer of the program, I would have to make sure that this program would fit into a clock. Now, the colorful wheel you're seeing over there is an actual show clock, something that I would use to keep everything on time, right? In the yellow, you would see those moments where I would talk on the radio doing the weather breaks or talking about the contest we're about to air. The blue segments, the big blue segments would be where Fat Man Scoop or the Baker Boys or HK would do their mixes, right? So it was that show note that kept me on track. So I had to sit there in a studio weekend after weekend listening to the dopest DJs in America throw down. I had a preview of what the greats were about to play. It's like going to a concert, right? And before, let's say Fall Out Boy takes the stage, you get to peek at what they're about to play. What I'm focused on more so is the intricacy of how they programmed. Like, why did Scoop go from Fat Joe into Little John like that? Why did HK mix Justin Timberlake into Katy Perry like that? I was fascinated with that ability to drill into their mindset. So I get where you can see how Cray Hackers could be perceived as robotic. You think to yourself, oh wait, you're just copying somebody else's show. No. Every DJ has a role model out there somewhere, right? Go pick four, go pick five, go find who inspire you. Listen to how they play. Take notes, get inspiration, because it's going to open up patterns of thought that you didn't think about before. If you stay in your bubble, if you stay in your market, and you're not reaching out to get inspiration, you're stuck. Besides all that, let's send you home with some actual accountable steps to help you organize your crates tonight. I want to make it worth your while. Let's get some traction under these tires. If I can make the suggestion, try modeling your crates like a programmer. You've got data, find as much data as you possibly can out there and inject it into your crates. It's simple, but it can get messy. So let's divvy it up a little bit. Here's what radio programmers do. We have what's known as the currents, recurrence, and golds category. Currents are the songs that are being burned out on the radio. The ones that are being played a hundred times a week. Some of you say, oh, radio is so repetitive. Yeah, it's because we have currents in a category that just spin nonstop. Let me give you some examples. Right now, Doja Cat and Kid Leroy, at the time of this recording, they are the hottest artists in the game in the current category. Lizzo, Good as Hell, and Masked Wolf, Astronaut in the Ocean, not to be perceived as a classic just yet or a gold. 
They're hanging in there waiting to see the test of time. Will we be playing good as hell in five years? Hard to say. Masked Wolf, Astronaut in the Ocean? Time will tell, like I said. But that's where the gold category comes into play. Golds are where the classics reside. Actionable steps you can do tonight. If you were to open up your working laptop, give me two crates. Two crates, okay? Current and gold. Current and gold. What is a current and what is a gold? Okay? So go back to that clock we were looking at. When Fat Man Scoop or HK are playing, they're not thinking about five new songs in a row. The gold offers up a little bit of variety. My point is you want to start to make rules of what is the current bangers and then gold set your own parameters. Do you want to model your crates like a programmer in the advice I gave earlier, but let's localize it. These will not cut it. What you're seeing here are the Sirius XM and media based charts. Those are for a national East coast to West coast data point. For example, me, I'm from Nashville, Tennessee. I was from Montana. Big time difference between the music here versus what was over there in Big Sky Country. You see my point. You can't count on national numbers. So that's where hackathons come in. Remember that part I was talking about hanging out with your buddies? That's exactly what we did. There's a photo of me here in Nashville. So when I moved to uh, Nashville, I ended up being a new kid, curious, wondering hey, how does this market work? And so I befriended a whole bunch of awesome local DJs. And I said, hey guys, let's all talk about music and what songs hit, what to play next. It was so dope. That was my very first hackathon. And it still is today. We go record shopping together Tuesday nights. So put it in your calendar. We'll post a link in the comments. That's what hackathons do. We've got people from all over talking about how they love the community more than anything. It's community to us is by far trumping technology. It's a lifestyle. Look at that. People are actually getting tattoos. It's more than tattoos. It's a mindset. You don't have to bring every song to a gig. People are gravitating to the approach that you stress less when you bring less. And what was crazy about calling us Cray Hackers, I legitimately met real hackers, the good hackers. Let's hold on. Let's really quickly tell you that hackers were safe. We don't file share. We don't even host any music on our software or website. Uh, we play above the fold. We are not a record pool. So I met real hackers like Mike Villa, Glenn Renda, Tyler Wallace, and we all came up with a philosophy a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to organize your crates. We do have a 10-step series. Be more than happy to share with you. I'll post that in the comments, but it's a more deep dive philosophy. We looked at the pain points in the industry. What really stresses a DJ out? Well, we tackled them one step at a time. The series, again, available for you here, but just to breeze through a few of them, the big one, back up everything, back it up, back up everything. Before we even wrap up this conversation today, you should have a backup of a backup. The one folder technique is the game changer. Go back to the previous in our series. I speak heavily upon the theory of a one folder technique. Here's another tip before we head out of here. Limit the amount of song versions. You don't need 24 versions of 24K magic. Take a screenshot of this. One clean intro, one dirty intro, one transition up, one transition down, one acapella in and out, four remixes tops. It's been scientifically proven that the brain tends to drift when offered a fourth option. Go to any car sales floor in America, they only show you three cars. Why? It's scientifically proven. The fourth tends to overwhelm. Four remixes. Have you ever been caught in that scenario where you played the wrong version? You won't have that problem if you limit your song versions. Again, up on the screen, go ahead, grab it for yourself. The 10 steps to organize your crate, not just a video series, but we have a PDF that goes along with it. You can QR code that if you'd like. And just a reminder, this software, this community, it's for all types of DJ, wedding club, corporate, 
It works with every piece of software, Serato, Virtual DJ, Rekordbox, Denon, Tractor, Algorithm, digital vinyl streaming, yes, video, MP4s, karaoke even. How do we know if this is gonna work in your? You're still sitting around wondering exactly how is a hackathon gonna help? I could give you some other pieces of actionable steps tonight, but I don't wanna overwhelm you. Generally what we do is we go and we search for all the big song trends in the biggest pools in America like DMS and Crate Gang, Club Killers, and so on. And then we get really nerdy on you. Oh my gosh, have you ever seen this before? You can find out certain metrics of an MP3 or a streaming song just by letting advanced algorithm tools do its thing on the song. You can see that it extracts things like energy, danceability, how loud it is, the valence. Valence means mood how happy the song is. That's crazy too, because you can start to make an emotional impact on your dance floor. You wanna make them rage, get them angry. Wanna make them happy, throw on a brighter song. You can drill into the sound of a song before even hearing it. Again, I wanna repeat, there is technology out there that can get into the molecular level, that can drill into the DNA of a song. So you're not just hearing it, you're seeing it. That's a weapon for DJs. What if you can scan through your library and be able to know, yes, that song is gonna be the perfect energy I need. Or this one's just got the right kind of emotion to it to set this party off. It's a brave new world out there. Keep up with us. Here's one cool metric, the popularity. It looks into the factors of streaming. How many times did a song get played on mobile devices or on desktops? Popularity scores are a gut check to the DJ. You can sit there and say, I think I know what my audience wants. Truth be told, I went through my entire collection. I had 10,000 songs. I was able to shave off 6,000. My ego thought that I had 6,000 songs that were gonna hit. Artificial intelligence proved me wrong. Now, if you continue to follow me on this path, here's my promise to you. As you can tell, I put a lot of time and money into this, and I'm gonna keep this whole thing on rails for you before you even enter the website, before you even install the software or follow the Cray Hacker's mindset, I'm gonna serve you these scores on the daily. A popularity of 60% or higher. Danceability, 60% or higher. Energy, 40% or higher. Remember that confusing term valence? Happiness, I'm switching it up to happiness, 40% or higher. So if I went into all the charts and just kept scanning that daily, waiting for the new pop songs to arrive, waiting for the new rap and hip hop and, and Latin and all that, what if it started coming down, raining down music and then I filter it? Kind of like going through a gem mine. They give you that little sifter. That's what the Cray Hacker software does. It's kind of, so what we're sifting into the scores for you. If I promise you that, would you want to stick around for the next secret in our journey? I really hope so. There is a new way. It is the Cray Hacker way. I'm Aaron Trailer, and I'm so glad you're part of this journey. Happy hacking. And again, if you're just kicking the tires on this whole philosophy, or maybe you just stumbled upon this channel, give us a like for starters. And in return, I'm going to give you a chance to organize your crates for any purpose as a mobile DJ, club DJ, wedding DJ. This is yours for free for seven days. The link to a free trial is in the comments.